Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to look at why does coffee packaging always have that tiny hole or valve in it? And it has this regardless of what brand of coffee you buy, where you buy your coffee, you'll notice it always has this valve. And I think people use it to get a smell of the coffee before they buy it or see if they like the aroma. But this is exactly what manufacturers don't want you to do and that's not the reason this valve is included in the packaging. So if that valve is not for getting a sniff of the coffee inside, what is it for? Well, it's actually to prevent the coffee from exploding. And that's because as we store coffee over time, the pressure inside that packaging is getting higher and higher. Now, why would the pressure be increasing? To understand that, we need to go back to the roasting step. And the roasting step is what generates all those brown colors and the characteristic flavor and aroma we associate with coffee. But the step also does one other thing, which is it generates a lot of carbon dioxide gas. And some of this gas sort of gets uh, temporarily fixed to the coffee bean or it gets entrapped within the coffee bean matrix and it doesn't escape immediately. Instead, this carbon dioxide gas is released quite slowly over days and even weeks. Now, the first 24 hours after roasting, about half of the gas will be released. But the biggest issue is that if you quickly go from roasting your coffee beans to packaging them in a sealed container, you haven't let that gas escape yet. So if you seal freshly roasted coffee beans, what potentially could occur is that as the carbon dioxide is released from that coffee bean matrix, it is actually increasing the pressure inside that sealed packaging. And if that pressure increases enough over time, what you see is your whole coffee bag explode. So this valve is really included to prevent that pressure from building up over time. However, this leads to a second problem, which is if we have a valve that constantly allows gas to escape from the coffee, we're also going to lose those flavors and aromas of coffee because the aroma or flavor, you will think of just molecules in the gas phase that make it to your nose and that's how we smell a aroma. So these are also a gas and we don't want to lose obviously all the flavor from the coffee. That's not going to taste very good. So the problem becomes how do we let the carbon dioxide gas out but keep in most of the flavor and aromas. And let me add one more twist here. We also don't want the valve to let in gas from the outside into the coffee packaging. And that's because oxygen is nearly always detrimental for food. You always want to seal your food well to keep oxygen out. And I'm looking at you, all my old roommates who never seal and close their food. Oxygen is usually terrible for food quality. So while this little piece of plastic doesn't look like much, it's actually pretty sophisticated because we're asking a lot of it. We want it to prevent any oxygen from getting inside to the food, but at the same time, we want it to be able to release the carbon dioxide gas out of the coffee, but not so much that we lose all those flavors and aromas that are important to the coffee. So the valve we see on coffee packaging today is actually pretty ingenious. It only allows one-way movement of gas, so it only allows gas to leave the coffee package into the environment, and this is all based on a simple concept of pressure. Let's break this down. So say we're looking at a bag of coffee. Now what happens over time is the coffee beans release some of that carbon dioxide, and as more carbon dioxide is released, the pressure inside that sealed container of coffee builds. It gets larger and larger. Once a certain amount of pressure is reached, that's actually enough to 
pop that valve open, it pops it from the inside open, and it will release any gas until the pressure is lowered so that the pressure inside the coffee bay equals the pressure outside of the coffee bay. And when that happens, the valve automatically closes and the valve cannot open again until that pressure is built up high enough again that the pressure is enough to pop that valve open and release more gas. Of course, if you want to quickly increase that pressure, all you have to do is take your hand and squeeze the bag because that lowers the volume, increasing the pressure, and you can hear the gas being released and get a nice smell of the coffee. Like I said, you don't want to do this too often because every time you do it, you're losing those valuable flavors and aromas and you can't get them back. So this little valve that most of us probably take for granted is actually a nifty little invention. If you are a coffee lover, last week I actually posted a new video on how global warming is impacting the coffee we drink. So be sure to check that out as well. Otherwise, that's all I have for today and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.